Howdy everyone, welcome back to another Battle Brothers guide build. Today we're looking at a uh, flail build. This is a build that I have heard about a lot and then I was kind of skepti skeptical of. It is a flail build that uses Headhunter. Because recently in Blazing Deserts, Headhunter was reworked to where instead of every time you hit the body, you get an increased chance to hit the head. It is now, when you, whenever you hit the head, the next hit will also hit the head. So, the combination here is you use a, a one-handed flail that has Lash. Lash will always hit the head. So, okay, so you always proc Headhunter. And then, you have a one-handed axe, which does 50% damage when it hits the head. Seems like a natural combo, and it is. This is actually a really effective build. Combo this with a guy who has Brute, worth 15%, 5, plus 15% damage when he hits the head. This guy's a monster. And he also hits, yeah, this guy, this is like a really, really solid build. Wish he had a little bit more HP and a little bit more melee defense. But overall, I love this guy. I love this guy so, so, so much. So let's take a look at this build real quick. This is going to be a nimble build. This is a nimble build because with a uh, flail spec, it costs 19 stam to, uh, to hit the head or to use lash. And then it costs 13 stam Assuming you don't have any legendary, um, like, you know, minus fatigue on use for to use the uh, the one-handed axe. So, in one turn, what's that? 19 plus 13, that's 29. 33 stam? <laughs> it's kind of a lot. So, Iron Lungs is great, but, uh, I mean, let's just throw them in something like 210. 210 gear, and, uh, I don't know, 200 out. 63, that's like half your stamina in one build. I understand he doesn't have brawny. That's really not that great of a comparison. But went pretty nimble here. Went minus 11, minus 8. He's a frontliner. So I didn't want to put him in like a 140 helm. I know that would give him really good nimble, but that's pretty bad. So right here, you know, 46 nimble with some really good uh, armor here. Overall, not too bad. Going into it, uh, we obviously start with student. We go to recover next. Because this, again, is uh, with berserk. You are able to, you know, and you only have four AP attacks. You hit and recover really easily. Then you go quick hands. Quick hands is essential to this build. Because we're using nimble, uh, we're trying dodge and relentless. You take dodge first. Take relentless much later. You go to flail spec. You go into then, uh, you go into nimble. Then you go into berserk. Berserk is really, really key to this build. I tried doing it without berserk. I did play without berserk for a while. And what I noticed is um you would hit with the, if you hit with the flail and killed the guy you then couldn't attack with the um the axe on the same turn if no one was adjacent because what you would do is you know, you'd kill the guy then you'd have to move but then you don't have it, that extra ap back so then you'd have to wait another turn which is a real pain in the ass and what berserk also does is if you get your two kills um what you can do is then you could actually quick switch back to the flail and start again because you're doing a little dance with your flail and axe you start with the flail so let's say turn one you start at full ap you don't move you hit with the flail switch hit with the axe then on turn two you don't have your headhunter proc so you could you have to then hit with the axe switch and hit with the flail because if you say you start turn two with the axe i know this is confusing but you start with the axe then if you switch to the flail for free hit with the flail then it costs 4 AP to switch back to the axe, so you can't do that. So you have to, you can't just, it's really hard to switch um, to always get the movement in sync. So you will take some hits with the axe that um, aren't head hits. And if you happen to just get free head hits with the axe, obviously don't switch to the flail. Keep, keep with the axe and keep your chops up. Um, so getting that extra berserk for that free ap for moving or switching so you can really set up those those flail axe combos is essential so you need berserk you obviously need duelist because you're running around with duelist weapons headhunter is essential to this build as well before this i you could even argue um don't take flail spec and then just play as like a pure axe duelist um until you get headhunter but i like having flail spec i, pr I like pre-game Flail spec. So when I get headhunter, I'm just ready to go. I don't have to wait another level. Then we take relentless because we uh, end up we, we are in nimble build. We are trying to use dodge. And then finally, we're going to use killing frenzy because killing frenzy is a fantastic perk for anyone that gets kills. So 
I'm going to take this guy into the uh, the arena. Well, I, I wanted to do a standard, uh, a little... I went through all my old saves to see what he would actually be able to find some gameplay for. And we're doing uh, my old arena save that you've probably seen like once or twice now. This I wanted to do this because this build is really great against human enemies that take extra damage to the head. And otherwise, he's... Um, like, he's okay. I would not use this guy versus orcs. Because... Against orc warriors, definitely not. Because he just is going to get thrown around. He doesn't have... This particular guy doesn't have very high HP, even though he's nimble. I uh, probably should try and take Colossus on this build somewhere. But I don't really know where to fit it in. I guess you could drop Relentless. That's a very good point, is to drop Relentless and take Colossus. But... Not sure what else you could do. Uh, so I don't put this guy in orc, in orc battles. Um... Goblin battles, he's pretty good. Human enemies are where he shines best. Ancient Undead, he's pretty good, especially with the axe. Uh, the flail does good damage. The axe does good damage. In zombie fights, the flail is pretty shit. So I would maybe just stick with the axe. But human enemies is where he shines really well. So let's... uh, Alright, let's pass. Uh, with Relentless, I don't worry about passing. I'm just trying to get my adjacency bonus. Alright. Um, let's hold on him. Go here. Indom. Get that kill. Go here. Alright. Nice. Quick switch. Fucking domed him. Easy doming. Um. Nice. And he's fleeing. Alright. So these are going to be some pretty quick battles. But I just wanted to show... Just uh, keep your mind on uh, on this dude right here. Oh, we got pocket sanded. Okay. Oh, he went right in front. Good thing is about the flail is um, the shields may not always be hit. Didn't hit there, but you ignore. <laughs> oh damn! All right. Um. See, we really are um, going to uh, run out of stamina real quick. All right, let's get on top of this guy here. We will quick. We'll switch to the axe. I think we're gonna we're gonna switch to the axe and then recover on him. Um, let's do that. Didn't quite get it. I let him run. He got away. Ridiculous. All right. Yeah, sucks to be him. Don't disarm me. Thank you. Yeah, you're pretty bad. Thanks. All right. Uh, so now we have our headhunter proc, so we're gonna switch, dome the sh hell out of this guy, kill recover, Let's kill that guy while I'm at it, continue to miss, miss again, alright, thank you, alright, get around that shield, get a lot of injuries with this build here, broken nose, you can get severe concussion if uh, you're lucky. Alright, good. Probably should have just uh, switched to my bill hook and killed him. But there we go. Alright. Let's go into the next round if we need to. Why not? Sure, win the next round. Let's just keep going. Alright. I had to do a little quick cut there. But, round two. A lot of human enemies here again, so uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. This is pretty scary. We got quite good amount. Alright, that's like a 125 helmet. I think I'm gonna go here. Um, Try and dome this dude with the shield. Yeah, get in front of the guy with the shield. Alright, let's get our adjacency bonuses before we do anything else too crazy. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. I'm... Um, I think I'm gonna indomitable here. Um, I think I'm gonna go here, try and kill this dude. All right. Um, let's taunt that guy. All right. Nice. 
switch to the axe. Um, I'd rather go here. Uh, can I kill with that? I don't know. I'm not sure I can. Oh, I guess I could have. Uh, he is taunted to him. He could line attack. I don't want to get line attacked. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to... No, I do not want to get throwing spirit, actually. So we're going to stay there. Trying to avoid the overwhelm. Oh, good. This guy acts right now. Oh, we really did miss that, didn't we? That sucks. All right. Broken nose. Not bad. Net. Throwing, fucking throwing spears, dude. Damn. <laughs> hate, I hate me some throwing spears. All right. Uh, the only the issue here is nimble. This is why uh, a lot of these big fights I would like to not use. Um, not use this guy because he runs out of armor super quickly. Um, good hit there. Good hit there. And 53-67. Good, that's a great kill. Missed that is uh, super unfortunate. I'm going to wait a turn. I'm going to miss everything. Okay, that's not good. And then we're going to... Uh, we're going to taunt... And then I'm going to go here to try to invo avoid a lot of the uh, the overwhelms that this guy is going to be swinging at us. Especially if this guy like runs over here. Alright. Good. Hit his head as opposed to something else. Right, we you got the headhunter proc. We missed. Again. It's a damn shame that we keep missing everything. Overwhelms a bitch. Alright. Um... How overwhelmed are you? 10%? Alright. That's enough, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here. That's a problem. 92. Yeah, it's good hit. 30s. Alright, it's just uh not even not worth doing. That really didn't kill? That's so annoying. That is so obnoxious. We fucking love Overwhelm. Alright, start with the axe. We're not going to have enough stam. It's 19 stam, and that's 18. So we actually want to just get that. We could double hit him. Yeah, alright, we'll double hit him. That was pretty okay. We can see we couldn't go back to the axe as much as we would like to, but we did get to just use the regular thing, the regular attack, uh, instead of the he special head one. What are you at? 20% overwhelm. That was good. Good for morale. Can I finally kill this guy? That'd be great. Alright. Uh, good. Hedge Knight's gone. Uh, I'm just going to recover in case I need to. Nice war brand, you stupid bitch. How many throwing weapons does this dude have? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna recover. Um Let's just see what happens. I would like to kill that dude actually. Didn't break. Let the hedge knight run. Nice. Good. Good. And get that head hit. Boom. That was pretty good. That was pretty okay. Uh, we are seeing the issues with Nimble, though. We're running out of armor. Granted, this is a, uh, a much longer fight than normal. But okay. Let's see. Again, I, I appreciate that uh, this is the tournament I got to use because it's uh, it's all human enemies. All right, so um, these two are hopefully dead. 86, there's a 14% chance this guy lives. 
Um, let's just wait and get our adjacency. Let's see. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can hurt that guy a little more. All right. I'm uh kind of digging, kind of digging this right now. Get that guy. How's the weapon looking? Weapon look. Weapon's looking okay. We got a big hole right here. Um. I w uh, hmm. Maybe do something like this. That seems kind of fine to me. Let him get around. I'm really blocking a lot. Okay. And okay. That's pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about uh, adjacency. I don't want to go near the Swordmaster because he's going to footwork his way through, and that's a pain in my ass. Shoot here. Yeah, he can, like, run here and footwork one. Um, I think I'm just going to try and kill that guy. Let him run up, do something stupid. It's fine. All right, we're running out of armor. Actually, we're out of armor. And like I said, I poorly built this guy, so I don't have any good nimble. Good, hit his head. Thank God. He's throwing. All right. Um, let's see if we can do something better there. I think we can. Okay, don't break my shield, please. Please, please stop that. All right. Um. Actually, I think the answer is going to be to shoot him. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Good. All right. Yeah. Uh, why was I why was I worried? All right. Let's uh, let's get some extra hits here. The only, the real issue with this build is, um, if someone runs out of, uh, body armor but keeps their head armor, they, you ha your build is hitting them in the head, so, what, you might even have Headhunter and you don't have a choice and you're going to hit them, which might actually, uh, save you a kill, or stop you from getting a kill, sorry. But then also, um, you're splitting the damage between the, uh, the body and the head here. Alright, good. Good, that's very risky that I've been allowing him to shield wall. But, uh, so be it. I'm gonna dome this dude, run up here. Alright, get my, uh, get my adjacency kills. Good. Let that motherfucker run. I don't know what the hell he- I have to go chase his ass down, I guess. <laughs> that, the, that hit on the Swordmaster was, uh, pretty phenomenal, if I do say so myself. Alright. Let's go dome this dude. Hope oh, we don't have enough. It's too bad, I guess. I'll just get, keep my, uh... That was a misclick. I meant to kill that guy. Head hit. Yeah, there he goes. There's our head hit. Not doing us any, ju any justice. Uh, let's just recover. They're gonna run and die. Of course. Of course we uh, don't kill him. <laughs> yep, run back to the fight. Come on. Alright, let's, uh, let's get our kill. Recover. And then we can still quick hands. Get our axe out if need be. Oh, really? Alright, just shoot him. I'm gonna run up here, get that kill. There you go. Nice. Can we get to this guy in time? Oh, we can. And that's the game, bro. It's game. That was pretty good. I like that. Let's see how good our bill hook is. 45 ignore armor? What's the other thing? What? Is it 130? Don't tell me it's 130 normally. 30, 140? What? Oh, chance to hit head. Oh, that's not very good. Uh, overall though, we did, we, that is like prime when this build is good against brigands with terrible headgear. Uh, mercenary, which is pretty bad headgear, nomads. So that that's really top tier gameplay is what you're going to see. That also really works against nobles. Uh, he does work against ancient undead as well, like I've mentioned. So if that looked really exciting to you, being able to just dome people automatically, 
great other uh drunk could be okay i don't like drunk overall but drunk gets you plus damage huge gets you plus damage but i don't like huge either i think brute is way to go because that's specifically head and five melee skill i guess it's the same as drunk but you don't lose any items so i think this is a uh, really strong build i would recommend i'd probably put colossus on over relentless if i think about it but i hope you enjoyed what you saw comment below if you have any suggestions and i'll see you guys in the future peace